What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justice Falls. We back at again another video. Today we looking at um, uh, Gotham Knights revealing twenty eight super suits and how Gotham they were Knights made. Will include a lot of superhero suits for your characters to wear, and we're about to show you the designs for twenty eight of them, from suits inspired by classic cartoons to a set designed by a bona fide comic book legend. Developer WB Montreal has drawn from DC's rich history, but created some a lot of source new material, ideas yep. for how Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, and Red Hood could look in their take on the Batman universe. As part of IGN First, we spoke to the suit's creators about the unusual way they were designed, the how they work in game, yep. how they can be customized, and more. They did like an online event like they've been doing it for the past two years. I remember that First, we it's important to realize that Gotham Knights makes a distinction between gear, which is equipment you earn that purely changes your stats, and suit styles, the cosmetic mm. look of your character that also come with stat boosts. We're showing off suit styles here, and the key to the philosophy here is that while elements of them can be customized, you can't mix and match between different suits. Player okay. expression for us is very important but we wanted to make sure that we could harness that in a way that allowed for it's a degree tough. of clarity and unity. That's a of tough suit, of all of just giving Red Robin. Suit styles. We wanted the liberty to make suit styles that were different from one another enough that they all had their own really strong personality. And That's to tough that, too. We wanted to make sure that you always looked cool. You didn't want to end up with a red hood that like looks kind of sketchy because you made bad fashion choices. Red hood is supposed <laughs> to be always cool. Exactly. Seven different suit style sets in Gotham Knights at launch, making up 44 individual suits in total. In order to get as many varied and eye-catching designs as possible, I like that one the too. character art team looked far beyond their studio walls for inspiration. We knew we wanted to create this wide range of suit styles with a lot of distinct looks. So I think we took an approach that was pretty unique to this project. We started with our internal team, but we also searched for a bunch of artists that's tough that too the nightwing have, shinobi uh, styles that kind of synced up with what we were looking for basically looked on the internet you know uh, various websites mm. various people's portfolios various social medias and then we ended up having artists from germany france korea japan u.s all contributing you know to Yo, that mask is nasty that, like, was very that mask is nasty like, i like that different suit styles were happening at the same time so we will get a work in progress update from one artist say from Germany and then the next day we'll get something from Korea for instance so for us it was really interesting to see the Shinobi set looks personal tough. taste and their take on, on the on the suit styles that we chose for them for instance like the the beyond one like mm -hmm. the artist his portfolio is already looking somewhat nice. easily I would say 70% mm -hmm close to what we were looking for so that gave us a sort of like the initial confidence and i feel like you get awesome results when you nice. ask someone for their own i love how stylish style. these uniforms bit, look you tend to get like more passion the more the more it flows better for them i think designing the suit styles for gotham knights was a true collaborative effort with dc of course having its own input this I relationship mean, apparently wasn't a restrictive one though, tough. but one that encouraged experimentation i mean working with dc on these suit styles, I mean, it's a partnership for sure, and it starts in the early they look like stages of the character designs. We share very early sketches with them. You know, get get kind of a, a buy-in. Like, what do you, this is the direction we're heading. What do you think? Are you I cool mean, with this suit. overall direction? Yeah, it was a fantastic relationship. Like most of the time, we were encouraged to explore Neon how would suit. this look on my desk. Was was something they were imagining, or we heard more than once. You know, if we all agreed. We all want this as a color. That's like on my street desk. level suits. Yeah, I, I like that forward. too. That's dope. <laughs> That's like the modern like street level suits. Probably for stealth. While every suit style's overall design is somewhat no, that's fixed, probably for stealth. each one comes with customizable elements, further letting the player tinker with the look of their chosen hero. If you Our didn't know, Red Hood uses non-lethal bullets. Suit style, Bruce told him not to kill. Customize parts as we design. Well, we will let you apply colorways because we know where they go on the, each individual suit, and we will let you swap suit styles, but we don't mix parts from one suit style to another because it would end up with very strange overlapping parts. Yeah, you have no swag, and no swag. We just wanted to make sure that we could always provide a high quality. Within each suit style, we have four elements that are customizable. The cowl, the logo, gauntlets, 
and boots, plus the colorway. So for example, you might like uh, a minimalist version of the mask because you want to see the, the character and you, you think the character should have their, their face exposed or see, be able to see their hair or be able to see their eyes. Right. There may be a version of the cowl that gives you more of the kind of the scary white slit eyes, right? Or you might want to have a version that completely covers the face and gives you a, you know, a much kind of more intimidating visage yeah, as you're Because it's like, who's behind there? <laughs> I know that when I craft a blueprint that says year one suit style on it, that's what it's gonna look like. Now, if yep. I decide later on that that's I tough. would like to continue to look like that, even though I have a new suit blueprint from a different style, and it's cool and I have a love all the stats, but I don't like it as much as my year one suit style appearance, I can actually transmog over top of that suit style. They're sort of thematically connected to the story as you play, and you keep getting blueprints uh, dropped to you by completing crimes and uh, unlocking different beats of the story. As you get that stuff, and you as you decide what this is craft, cool. I every like this. different suit has a suit style. You can choose what you like the most. You can choose what stats you like the most. And occasionally, if you're like, yeah, I really want to override the look of that suit, you can use a transmog to apply it. Transmogs are I changes to your appearance that don't affect stats. One of these comes courtesy of one of the artists most synonymous with the world of Batman, Jim Lee. Getting those first sketches back, like okay, really rough Jim Lee. idea sketches you yeah. know, from Jim Lee. Like it's, it's pretty cool to see someone's process that's at that stage, like in their career and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, it's not often you get the opportunity yeah. to see something like that's a classic. That's a classic Nightwing. I mean, Red Hood look right there. Also, those suits are that so, right there. You know, that one right there. You know, at that point, we we Cla that's like a classic Robin suits, look as we well. Know this one is really is a callback. It's it's a lot of players going to be yeah. really loving this. Jim Lee even got a glimpse of the team's original design. So Nightwatch is like the more moment for the classic team. look. <laughs> I like that. Anecdotally, we've heard a few uh, like that it's looking good, that he likes it. Uh, he's seen a few of our character concepts, I know. Colorways are that extra layer on top that really allow for your hero to stand apart from the rest. They range vastly in the amount they differ from each night's classic Night colors Watch as well. The majority sets. of our colorways are familiar to the brand or, or ones that you, you kind of expect or tweaks of them or maybe different versions we've seen in comics or other So you media. really going to have the drip. And we'll have a section of these colorways <laughs> you have that the super is kind of a, drip. a muted set. So maybe some blacked out ones or grays and whites. You know, we going to stealth. We going night ops. Section, which is we going night ops. Ones. You know, these the are first ones play that are pushing the envelope. Yeah, they're definitely out there. There are a few of them. Sometimes I play the, the build and like, mm. these are colorful <laughs> combinations. Yeah, but surprisingly, like these are the ones I always see people playing with. You know, people are loving, loving the ability to put on these like yeah, crazy colorways. Offers nice. a lot of choices, right? A red hood that isn't exactly red may raise a few eyebrows, but that's the point. Gotham Knights encourages you to change up the designs of your knights to find your own favorites among Amongst the plethora of options available. Everyone will find a specific suit style that speaks to them when the game launches on October 25th. Right. As for the character art team, they have theirs already. I'm gonna go with Night Ops Red Hood, I think. I just, something about it that's tough. appeals to me. I love that set, <laughs> the entire set. Is like so that, unique. yeah, that Night that's Ops, that's, from, uh, you know, like to me, that's, one artist to me, that's the, Germany, um, that's uh, the cleanest uh, one. It's great, we love his work, and uh, so yeah, that set was just like a, one of those fresh takes that we, because you remember when they come in, and then you remember, okay, there's something really nice about them, totally. something special. It was early too. For me, man, this is tough. You gotta pick one of the ones you did. No, no, I'm not <laughs> going to do that. I'm going to pick the Red Hood version of Shinobi. Yeah, that mask, is, yeah, that mask is, that mask goes so crazy. I like and it. And it just striking from a It sticks out, view. definitely. And I, I love it for that. Solid choice. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to see these suit styles in full detail, make sure to head to IGN.com, where we have a slideshow gallery with each one. And for more from Gotham Knights, check out the opening 16. Yeah, we already did a video on that. I'll sure plug it somewhere. IGN for more exclusive content. It'll probably, it probably would have already August. showed by now, or it's going to be showing right now. Or at the end of the video after I finish talking. But yeah, um, excuse me. Yeah, that's looking dope. Um, I like the Night Ops set. The Eternal set looks dope too. The, the Shinobi set looks dope. I like the fact that when you change suits, it changes stats. Cause Batman the Arkham series had a lot of suits, but it didn't have like any like stat effects. It didn't have any other effects other than cosmetics. So 
this is going to encourage this this the fact that like when you change your shooter change your stats it's going to affect how you play the game and i kind of like that like if it's a lot of enemies and they're kind of spread out in a large area instead of jumping down and fight punching them all up you can pick them apart like with your stealth you know with your night ops um mood and i and i'm i'm assuming the shinobi mood is more of like an attack a battle mode so you could jump down there you probably have more health more armor and your weapons hit harder so and things of that nature so i can't wait till we get inside the game into the minutia of the game inside the menus inside the meta of the game and and really get in there and start um tweaking stuff um i need to pre-order this game i'm definitely gonna pre-order this game um because i'm definitely gonna play it you know day one so um y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments um y'all already know the vibes like comment subscribe all that good stuff this your boy justice falls and we out one